So now oh, this is finally happening. This is a thing. PC. Oh my god, I just knocked over beer. That's incredible. I'm taking Mike with me. I'm taking the mouse with me. I'm taking things I got. But computer, it is goodbye. I am afraid. Look at the mess of this room. Just packing shit everywhere. Because I'm taking like half my room with me in one suitcase. Oh my god. It is what? 7.15 in the morning. I haven't slept yet. Uh, my bus leaves in like an hour or two. And then I go Belfast to London and then London straight to LA on no sleep. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I would also just like to say a final goodbye to the Coca-Cola curtains. I'm not taking them in America, you're staying here. You have... You have brought joy to the hundreds of thousands of people. But... You must go. I am sorry. It was good having you. I'm stroking my curtains. Okay, straight off the bat, this is what stress and not sleeping for like two weeks looks like. I've broken out, my eyes have crazy bags, but hey, welcome to America, I guess. I look like shit and I feel like shit. <laughs> first things first, how are y'all doing? Uh, I finally, as you can see, I finally got my setup and everything rocking. I'm going to take you guys on a little apartment tour just here at the end up. Uh, sorry that first bit, I think it's kind of short, um, there's a whole pile of shit went down. I tried to record a lot in Heathrow Airport, I tried to record on the plane, but then security people came up to me and said like, you can't be recording here. I, I don't know why, but I tried my best to record as much as possible, but I really just didn't have time. And I got security people and I was getting told off and stuff, so I apologize about that. And also, there's echo in here. You'll see when I go around the place, but there's a lot of echo in this place. And also, uh, I've been here living in this place for like a week now. Uh, and the reason I didn't upload it straight away as soon as I got here, because I wanted to show you guys my new setup, because I spent a lot of money on this, I'm not gonna lie, man, I look like it, but sweet Jesus. So I think, without further ado, let me show you around the place. Alright guys, so welcome to my apartment. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys around really, really quick, sort of show you what I got going. Um, there's a few things that still have to come in the mail, but I'll just show you guys sort of what I've got now. So that's the door. One thing I'm going to say really quick is it's going to echo like a bitch because look at the ceilings. The ceilings are like, I think it's like 12 foot tall or something ridiculous. So uh, I apologize about the echo, uh, but let me show you around real quick. I feel like this is like MTV Cribs, but really, really less. Really, really less. Wow, English skills on point. Far less production value is what I'm trying to say. All right, this, this is the fridge. You guys always want to know sort of what's in the fridge. I don't know. Well, according to Cribs, you do, so. In the fridge, we have a shitload of milk, water, beer, chicken, sausages, eggs, more water, salad stuff, and that is all that's really in there. I try and eat, like, healthy. That's one thing you don't know about me is that I diet a lot. So, like, I've got my chili powder for my chicken, things I got, my pan. Oven, microwave, uh, go over here, sink unit, dishwasher, things like that. And then I've got my fruit there, just chilling. All the stuff, all the basic utensils. Oh, I should probably show you what's in here, because all you guys are nosy and whatnot. I see you. Sugar, bread and rice, protein stuff, and you gotta have cookies, okay? I may be on a diet, but sweet Jesus, Chips Ahoy, I've missed you so much. Okay, so we come around a little bit, it's just plates and things in there. And then I apologize about the boxes, you got boxes over there, a little mini dining table, uh, shoes and stuff, but there's gonna be boxes for days, that's all, all that's over here is just boxes. Like, you got some bags, some astro bag, but because I had to buy everything in, there's just boxes everywhere, and I'm sorry. Uh, like my two monitors, uh, my HP printer, which is there. Um, and these, you probably saw these right off the bat, and they were like, what the fuck, do, what is this? Uh, that is like acoustic pads because like it's echoey as shit in here, so they're trying to like dampen the noise a little bit. Honestly, it may not seem like it, but this echo was a hell of a lot worse. And there's no way, real way I can get rid of it unless I move like this whole setup into the room over there. And that soundproofing, it, it barely does anything. I don't even know why I bought it. But anyway, couch, these just kind of came with the place. Brown couches, they're comfy as shit though, oh my god camera that I recorded the little 
intro vlog thing on. Uh, go over here, little lamp, how you doing? Laptop that I was working on before, and my big beautiful setup. Uh, you guys can't even see it. Look at that wallpaper. That is a one sexy ass wallpaper. So one thing as well that's really, really cool about this place, it's, it is a bit small because it's only a one bedroom, but the one reason I like this place is because that Apple TV and the TV came with, with the apartment. So one thing I love doing is like, I, just, I lie back on here and just put Twitch streams on there, or I can like play iTunes or Netflix or whatever on there. And those in the roof are like surround sound speakers. So I can just watch like Twitch or Netflix on there and it's already surround sound. It's goddamn beautiful. So welcome to my setup. This is all brand new. I had to rebuy 99% of everything you see right now, which is why there's boxes everywhere and I'm sorry. But uh, we'll start over here. Random business blog, ledger, blogger, I don't know what the hell you call it. Tax stuff, tax stuff. Uh, papers and stuff, little bit under there. Printer for printing out shit, obviously. Uh, internet connection, I'm, I'm with Time Warner. I know you guys are like, oh, they go Time Warner, what the hell are you gonna go come get your brazen? I'm like, I don't know. I don't care. I get like 210 download speed on that, bit, on that bad boy, so I'm happy. You do you, you do you. Love you. Okay, Razer Goliath mouse pad that goes a whole way across because it's just, I don't know, it's beautiful. Uh, Corsair, I want to say Vengeance K90 or something like that keyboard. Beautiful keyboard. Uh, Red Death Adder, Chroma, Razer mouse. Uh, these two monitors are Asus. They are uh, 144 hertz, one millisecond response time monitors, 1080p, Astro headset. If you don't have Astro and you're a gamer, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. I, I'm not getting paid to say that, I'm just a massive fan of them. And then you come down to the power unit itself. And one thing as well is that because I didn't have some things in stock, they gave me this for free. I wasn't, I don't really care too much about LED lights, but they're like, you know, we're sorry, we don't have some of the parts that you need um, in stock, so we're just gonna give you some LED lights. And I'm like, okay, I'm cool with that. So these all change color, which is amazing. Uh, I'll put it back to blue, because blue is sexy, there you go. So I will leave uh, a link in the description to everything that's in here. Uh, this cost about $4,200, I'm not even joking. Um, altogether, I think my setup cost about $5,000. Um, so, quickly run over a few things if you're interested. 16 gigabyte RAM, uh, hex core Intel CPU. The thing that didn't have a stock, I was gonna get octo core CPU just for rendering and things like that and editing, but they didn't have that in stock, so they downgraded to hex core. Uh, and that's why they give me this for free. Epic win. Um, and then, graphics card there. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall over. Nvidia GeForce um, GTX 980, which actually got super clock. I uh, got that super clock. Same as the CPU and everything. Because I'm treating that, treating this as like an investment. And then you got super quiet fans, like, you can't hear it. Honestly, I put it on for the first time, and I didn't even realize it was on until my, until the screens came on. I was like, holy shit. I also apologize about the cable. Uh, I still need to do the cabling. Don't roar at me, I'm sorry. I still need to fix all that stuff. So that is pretty much my setup. Microphone is an Audio Technica AT35. This is my old one. Uh, WinTech, um, Pop filter, couldn't even think of the name. Rode PSA1, uh, boom arm, and I think that's everything. This chair, the chair on the desk, almost, it just came with a place. Um, so they're not anything special. As far as the, as far as everything goes, this is, this is my setup. I don't know, all the cool kids do this. They have their YouTube and their Twitters up. Like, hey, look at me, I'm the real one or something. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like the cool kids. So we'll move around, um, the kitchen, I love it because I can work and the kitchen is there. So I can roll that wheelchair the whole way across to get food. It's, it's the, it's, life is good. Life is very good. All right, so we go into the bathroom. Hello, bathroom. Okay, whoa, that came automatically. How are you doing? Look at my phone case. Charizard for the win. Um, you know, normal things. I, I, I swear I'm like a woman name the things I have here. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know really what to show you. This is just, where I bathe and whatnot. Sh that shampoo makes your hair smell like strawberries. 10 out of 10, IGN. Towels and whatnot. Very cool in here. Washer, dryer, ah, my back. Washer, dryer, Came with the, comes with the place. Over here, there's like a water cooler or whatever in there. Bedroom, 
Um, that I, I, I rented these out. I rented like the bed sheets and whatever out. Um, my God, that's the comfiest thing I've ever done. Mirror, sunglasses, hairspray. This is a really bad apartment tour. I don't know how to do these, to be honest. But I'm just letting you guys know where I live. Oh, look at this. It is so good on the toss. It's like shag carpeting. Holy balls. Plug right there, and then you get uh, walk-in closet where I got all my stuff rocking. You know, all my stuff. Hey, look, it's my mail out shirt that you can totally buy in the description. Hashtag sellout 2015. You know, gym shit, normal clothes, going out clothes, shit ton of socks, boxers, and the, honestly, like that is, that is the apartment, guys. That is it. It is a nice, small, cute little place, but it treats me well. It treats me well. So this is where I'm living for the next six months. If you guys don't know, I'm staying here for six months. Uh, and while I work on some visa stuff, uh, this is where my house is going to be in six months. If I can stay here, if I can stay in America, um, I will probably be moving to a new place. But this is my this is my home for the next six months at least. And I'm not gonna lie, love it a bit. Apart from the echo, love it a bit. So that's my apartment. Hopefully you guys enjoyed having a little look around sort of what I'm working with and where I'm living now. One thing I want to say here at the end of is all of this is honestly down to you guys, you lads, you amazing people out there. I've managed to make this into my full-time job and I've been able to move from the UK to America to pursue what I love doing. And you may be just sitting there, just watching a few videos, just staying in tune with what I'm doing, but you are the reason I'm able to live the life that I live. Go to these places, meet you amazing people, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for honestly like making my dreams come true. Uh, as cheesy as that sounds, like, you are the reason I am doing all of this. So please, give yourself a pat in the back. Give a massive goddamn pat in the back, because you goddamn deserve it. Just sticking with me, enjoying my stuff, and just being the amazing fans that you are. And I couldn't have asked for any better lads if I tried, to be honest. It's... I love it. But you know what? The one thing, the one thing that I always say, if you're just starting out on YouTube, if you're starting to do music, or you want to go into TV and you're going act acting career or wherever you're going, is that I believe anybody can be successful, but the thing that's going to define you from somebody else is your motivation and to stick with it when times are down. That's the big thing in my books. Honestly, if you can stay with something that you love and you're passionate about and you're willing to make sacrifices to live that dream, go for it because nobody's going to tell you no apart from you, okay? I come from a rural background and when I started this, uh, people had no idea what I was doing. They thought it was kind of a joke, uh, to be honest. And now that I've stuck at it and I've proved them wrong, it's, it's amazing to see how the whole attitude from what I do has changed within my family and friends alone. It's insane. And honestly, again, it's it's down to you guys. Like, I honestly can't thank you lads enough. Like, I, I love the way you guys are embracing the name lads. Like, you guys tweet at me every day, like, oh, lads unite, and things like that. And it, it brings a massive smile to my face. And I, I feel like I'm rambling, but I just wanted to say, like, a massive thank you so much. This is all down to you. You right there, this is all down to you. And. I have nothing else to say apart from I am humbled. I feel like I feel like this is like an acceptance speech at like the Oscars. I'll be holding. I should be holding something like an award. <laughs> I want to thank my mom. <laughs> you always be there for me. <laughs> what am I doing? Thank you guys again. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smack that like button. Thank you for being the best fans that I could ever ask for. And like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will talk to you guys soon. <laughs>